let's have a sit down today and chat about some things that I've been thinking about recently. And that is the idea of finding a place where you belong, like finding a place where you feel like you fit in with other like-minded people, especially in this big world of the fiber arts. Hey there, I'm Felicia from Sweet Georgia, and if we haven't met yet, Sweet Georgia is a hand-dyed yarn company based in Vancouver in Canada. And the School of Sweet Georgia is our online school and community for the fiber arts. Now today I wanna to talk about finding your people, your like-minded community of people who love the things you love. Now when I started the School of Sweet Georgia back in 2017, I was given a lot of advice to niche down which means that if I was gonna teach dyeing, then I should only teach dyeing and only talk about dyeing and only hang out with other dyers. And similarly, if I was gonna teach spinning, then I should focus on only spinners. Or if I was gonna teach weaving, then the school should only be focused on weaving. But if you know me and if you follow this community, you'll know that that's just not possible. We are multi-craftual makers, and this is about the entire spectrum of the fiber arts, everything from the fiber to the cloth. So knitting, spinning, dyeing, weaving. I am a multi-craftual maker, and I want the entirety of who I am to be seen, accepted, encouraged, and welcomed. So this is what led me to starting the School of Sweet Georgia. I really wanted a place where multi-craftual people like me who are interested in the fiber arts would feel included and welcome. And so what that means for you is that if you're a knitter who also wants to dye yarn, we welcome you. If you're a spinner who also wants to knit with your yarn, we also welcome you. And if you're a dyer who wants to learn how to weave with your hand-dyed yarns, we also welcome you. So if you are at all curious about the different ways that you can transform fiber into fabric, we would love to welcome you to the School of Sweet Georgia. It's almost back to school time and it's a very natural time in the year when we're thinking about starting something new, learning something new, learning some new skills. And so if this is what you would like to do, if you're interested in joining us this year, you can visit us at schoolofsweetgeorgia.com to sign up for an all access membership and it will give you access to everything inside the school. So over the years, we've developed over 80 video-based courses in knitting, spinning, dyeing, weaving, tapestry, crochet, color theory, felting, and even some punch needle. And these are all taught by a team of amazing instructors who love these crafts and are very passionate about sharing their knowledge with you. The other big point that I wanted to mention is that we are, and we have always been, tool agnostic. So that means that if you want to spin yarn, you can use a spinning wheel, you can use a supported spindle or an e-spinner, it doesn't matter. In all of those cases, that tool just helps you add twist to your fiber. But you are the one who's drafting the fiber, deciding how much to draft, deciding how much twist is enough. You are the one who is spinning, not the tool. And likewise, it doesn't matter if you want to weave on a piece of cardboard or a rigid heavy loom or a floor loom. We are interested in learning about weaving. What I try to remind people is that a loom is simply a piece of equipment that holds your warp yarn under tension. That's basically it. <laughs> In fact, I should actually let you know that we have a rigid heddle study group inside the School of Sweet Georgia that just started. So if you've wanted to learn how to weave with a rigid heddle loom, now is the perfect time to join. So of course, we have a special offer for you too. So you can use the code TBF22 to lock in a 15% discount off of your membership. So I'm hoping that you'll join us inside the school because we have plenty of new and updated courses already published and definitely more coming soon. So if you are at all curious, you can check out our content roadmap on the website. It's schoolofsweetgeorgia.com slash roadmap to see what we have planned. So that is basically it for today. It's a really, really short one, but it's an important one. I really want you to know that you are welcome in our community. And if you love all of the different fiber arts and crafts and you wanna connect with other people who also get excited about all the crafts, then this is the place to be. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope to meet you inside the School of Sweet Georgia.